Wet Shavers and welcome back to Wet the Face and today we are going to delve into an Italian soap and I've been using this for a while but maybe you haven't seen it before or have seen it but um, want to see how it how it performs so um, we're looking at uh, Spanificio Veracino and this is Mana and um, this particular um, shaving soap is uh, just just an incredible scent first of all and uh, its performance is just outstanding so um, I happen to have it, they, the, the pucks come in the box like this so if you uh, have seen that and they're wrapped quite nicely I had taken off the wrapping of the puck but um, that's what it looks like and these are uh, solid hard pucks uh, they are a product of Italy, like I said, and they're triple milled. So, you know, great quality there. And when I purchased mine, I actually uh, bought the, uh, the wooden bowl for it. And I put it back in this box. I always say boxes. I don't know why, but I do. But in this case, it came in handy because that's the box it came in. And um, this is the, uh, the wooden um, the bowl for it. And uh, if you take a look at the the uh, the stamp here, it is uh, engraved uh, probably by a um, like an iron. I, I'm not sure, but uh, it's you know you can feel it with your finger. Um, it's really it's really great. This is extremely light too. It's a very light wood, and uh, it fits perfectly. The puck does fit perfectly right in here, and let me just take it out of the, the holder. This is the actual puck. That's how thick it is. You see that? And uh, I'm just going to drop it right in, and you can see this. See? Not much room. A little play, a little play in there, so you can put it out. And uh, it just uh, fits right in there. So... Um, I'm still deciding whether I'm going to make a bowl lather with this, but um, maybe we will. So what I'm going to do is, instead of do using the ceramic bowl, I'll use the wooden bowl, and we'll uh, we'll do a bowl lather, bring it to the face, and um, share the results. So let's do it. Okay, so here is the wooden bowl that we looked at before, and uh, the puck, as you can see, goes right in. Uh, we're going to bloom this for approximately two to three minutes and then we'll come back and then we'll use the um, we'll use the Zen shave brush that I have here and for the actual shave an R89 grand razor with a um, persona blue blade and I use all persona blue blades in all of my razors so let's get to this okay so here is the um, Here's the bloom water here. As you can see, it's right there. Uh, we have uh, bloomed this for about four minutes. So I'm just gonna dump out the bloom water here. And I'm gonna wet this brush with warm water. I'm just gonna put a little back in. And now I'm gonna do the loading of the brush. You can see it does not take time, any time at all to load the brush at all. I mean, look at this. But I'm going to continually agitate this. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit of water here. Just so I can create a little lather. This brush is loaded already. It really doesn't take that long to load this with this soap. So, I mean, look at that. So, uh, since this is now loaded, let's bring this to the face and do a face lather and continue on. Okay, so um, I have about four days growth. So I'm just gonna wet the face a little. And 
and uh, I'll grab that brush with the lather. Here it is, and let's do that face lather. This is extremely creamy, very creamy soap. And I love the scent of this thing. Wow. You know, I haven't used this in a long time and when you use it, you just, it's just incredible. I mean, there's a thick cover of lather here. Very creamy, soft. It's, I mean, the, the the warm lather from the from the warm brush. I mean, it really really is great. And I think I can't improve on this anymore. Look at the thickness of that lather on there. So with that, here's my already nine grand, and let's let's do the shave. Oh man, what can I say, that's just a great shave. Just an outstanding great shave. You know, I've been using a uh, Razor Rock Slant for the last couple of months and I really enjoy that razor. But going back to my R89 Grand, it's like, um, it's like wearing a great pair of blue jeans, you know? They fit comfortable, so does this. Just amazing. Um, I, I felt like uh, an old friend, you know, the old friend is back. <laughs> so, uh, had a great shave. And the slickness and glide, closeness, all tops, um, the scent, uh, it's gone. I can't smell anything. But lathering and um, putting it all together, getting the whole, th whole thing onto your uh, face, you could smell the lather, and uh, it really is a wonderful scent. And, um, you know, I truly believe that um, it's up to, of course, it's up to the individual and your, your bank account if you can afford expensive soaps. And a lot of people have been saying, you know, don't buy them. Uh, some artisans uh, that make um, the more less expensive soaps are just as good and so forth. But for me, uh, if you really want to try an expensive soap, you should buy it because you only go around once in this world. I lost my friend a, uh, a few days ago. My friend, uh, my friend Peter, he, um, he has uh, cancer and uh, we were just getting involved into wet shaving with him and uh, he was getting very excited about using certain things and I was giving him all kinds of uh, products to try. My advice to anyone is if you can afford it, go and buy it because you never know what's gonna happen. So with that, I don't wanna bring anybody down, 
But with that, I had a real great shave. And I hope you have a great shave too. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.